Hey guys, welcome back to some more Ashes Cricket 2009 and part 4 of our Let's Play in today's episode. We continue the first test where Australia are 119 for 5. Um, we've got them under the cosh here. It would be great if we could uh, continue that form. Uh, starting with James Anderson right now with the first ball of the day. Thank you for all of the support on the series so far. You guys seem to be really enjoying it and we're going to be doing it a couple of times a week from now on. Um, I don't think we'll be uh, bowling for too much longer. Obviously we bowled for quite a significant proportion of uh, last episode. So um, we'll, uh, we'll probably do a, a couple of overs um, Brilliant oh, timing. But goodness me, they are seeing it like a beach ball at the moment. Really got into position beautifully there. Yeah, if we could ball them here. No, nope. that's another four, and that's going to be his fifty. Let's take a look nope. at it from another angle. Very well played, Brad Haddon. <laughs> no ball. So he's having ball. some problems with his run up out there. Anderson definitely tired at this point. Oh, we got him! We got him! Hadn't gone for 50 off 17 balls, goodness me. He went for the sweep and inside edge onto the stumps. And now Shane Watson comes to the crease. Wow. That's a nice shot. And that's going to be four. What a start. Right. I think that'll be Swanee. To the ball. It's Michael Hussey here. Great stroke time. Lovely shot. And this outfield is very, very quick. Fine shot for four. No runs off that delivery. <laughs> One more to Sundries. Uh, no ball there. <laughs> well, they get the run, and I'm not too bothered by that. I prefer bowling the right handers with Swanee. That's what we'll go for. And there you go. That is why. What a delivery. And Shane Watson gone for four. Look at this. Right in the crack there. Through the legs. Middle stump gone. And now. It's time for the tail enders. That's a nice shot. Oh, they came back for two there. Goodness me. Oh, can we get Michael Hussey out here? That's the question. No, but we've kept strike for Mitchell Johnson. Seven runs scored off the over. And now, time for Freddie Flint off to get back into it. Can we get Michael Hussey out? Or just ball out all of his partners? Either are fine. Oh, it's going to be tough. Hooking the ball can be a very risky business, Tony. How important is it to be able to play the shot well? Playing the hook shot is an interesting one. It uh, could be described as risky. But uh, it can also be described as one of the most pleasing shots of all, if executed well. There's nothing nicer than to hook a uh, fast bowler for four, especially if you manage to get the shot right. But I think that you should try to play the hook and pull shot, because if you perfect it, there are plenty of runs to be made in that area. In fact, I'd go further. There's no point in eliminating any shot. You've got to try them all. 
and then depending on your personal view of how you're going, you've then got to make a stance in respect of how you're going to select your shots. And if you don't uh, feel confident with the hook, well then don't play it. Very interesting from Tony Gregg once again there. Let's take a look at that from another angle. It might be time for the Yorker. Well, end of the over. That's two runs from the over. And time for Monty. Yeah. It's time to Michael Hussey. Trying to get the opposite effect to Swanee, but uh, it's going to be tough. Right out shot. of the top draw. Absolute shot. Everything was in the right place there. It fairly raced to the boundary. Nothing scored there. Great timing. Sure. Once again, beautiful shot for four. And a cracking shot, that one. He looks in fantastic form. Slightly in the air there. Thought we might have a chance, but apparently not. Now, Mitchell Johnson. Well, gets Michael Hussey off strike. He's got away with it. Well. Anyway. A better throw and it could have been interesting. What about Paul Collinwood? A medium pacer to start a new over. Instead, he used to like the medium pacers on this game. I think this will be the final over and then we'll sim the rest of it. And then we'll get on with the run chase. Been quite a, a cosy over this. <laughs> I wonder whether a slower ball bouncer is this the call of the day here. Oh, I tell you what, I tell you what, another over gone. Hmm. Go on, we'll try it. We'll try a couple of balls we and Bell here. The ball just runs out into the covers. <laughs> well, look at that. That's six. Got everything absolutely right there and was rewarded with six runs. The ball just runs out into the... Oh, it's dropped. It's well, that was the chance. The fielding team that was the that. chance. To get Michael Hussey there. I doubt we're going to get another chance like that. That's just the kind of shot that makes the fielding captain want to tear his hair out. Very unlucky. Very well played. Again, another four. He's punishing us for that. Well, you really can't give this player that kind of room outside the off stump. That's <laughs> well, we're going to simulate the rest of the innings. 
And how do they do? 265. Well, Hussey went on and got 94. Anderson a 5 for there. So we're going to have to score incredibly well to win this match. Want to make early inroads into the bowling attack to give themselves a fighting chance in this match. Oh, here we go. How are we going to do? That was a sloppy piece of cricket. 452 to win. That is going to be a tough target to carry down, to carry out. But you know, we have the we have the hope that Kevin Peterson brought us in the last innings. Come back for three there. That's good running. We're going to have to be attacking. Edged. It's a little bit indecisive there whether to go off the pads or into the off. Offside. He's having problems with his run up out there. Batsmen are looking for two. This is going to be out. They're having a shout. That is very close. He's I didn't expect them to just come Let's have a look at straight the away, throw it back. This is going to be incredibly close. Yeah, I thought he was going to knock it behind himself, but it was a good throw. And that is going to be incredibly close. We get to see it in slow motion or with Hawkeye over and, and over. I think it's the out. They only get one shot I at think it it's out. It's so close, but it's out. He's out. And Strauss gone for three in this first over. Well, six for one after two balls. And that's uh, after two no balls as well, remember. Thin edge. That's certainly not the start we wanted. That's when they're coming back. Ah, uh, see, that's what I expected them to do before. Unless well, he didn't this time. Now Ian Bell certainly going to have to do better than he did last time out. That's a good start. A shot through the covers. We can come back for two. Not three. No. Ian Bell can be a innings maker or breaker for us. Exquisite. Oh, what a shot! And that's four off his second shot. Brilliant. Great shot. That'll give him some confidence. That was a 13 off the first over. They're not hanging around. Now, 13 for one. There might be trouble here. What a super brilliant shot. They're going to keep going with the bouncers and we're going to keep putting them away. Wonderful shot. He really punished the bowler there. What a shot from Ian Bell. We're okay. It was a little bit in the air, but we're fine. Gonna keep going for it because that's the best form of defence in my opinion, attack. Nah. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. Just make sure we play the defensive shot there. Yep, nice little glance down. We get the run. 
Seven off the over. It's one more run for the team. Seven runs came from that over. The fast bowler to start a new over. 20, with, 20 for one at the moment. It's a nice glance down the third man. That's four more. That was in the air, but... Uh, Magnificent. I'd pay money just to come and see that again. He's got the edge. There's a risky one. If we can get it right. Oh, he's out! Wow! That's a cook gone for eight. Just didn't quite catch it as good as the other one, and what a catch that was! Well, both openers gone and KP comes to the crease. 24 for 2 here. I think we're going to have to knuckle down now. And just take our opportunities when we get them. Captain it out. Confident appeal. Nah. The umpire turns it down, but it must have been close. And from another from angle, absolutely miles away. That's the end of another over. There we go. Cookie to start a new over. Four off that over. Twenty-four for two now. We're just going to have to make sure that we're. Just keep these guys in. Well, that's a that's a lovely shot, shot from Ooh. KP. Great footwork, beautiful shot. By far the best player in the first innings. Can he repeat it in this one? It's again a lovely shot. It's going to go for four. On a pitch like this, I feel for the bowlers, there really is no margin for error. Yeah, just keeping those ones out. Anything near the stumps, we're not even entertaining great stroke play it's again another lovely shot for four and the gap with precision well you really can't absolutely beautiful stroke that's four every time well, the bowlers are another good over there 12 off it 36 for two Lovely shot. Brilliant. Brilliant from Ian Bell. Almost seems to accelerate over this outfield. These two starting to build decent innings here. Just a one there. That's when I came back. No, they'll come back for two. That was sloppy fielding. Just the one. But yeah, people are saying uh, that I should go back to Cricket Captain, and I just want to remind people who haven't seen the, the last episode of that series, well, I can't because it's unplayable at the moment because uh, it keeps crashing every time you go into the coin toss. So, um, you know, it's not for the lack of wanting to play Cricket That's Captain. Lovely. It's just that I literally can't that's why i'm playing this game instead but uh you know if you don't enjoy it then you don't have to watch it do you know what 
what I mean. Um, Cookie to start a new over. Five overs in now, 47 for two, so we are chipping away at this rather large total. Beautiful stroke. That's a textbook shot. That was uh, beautifully put away for four. And Bell really playing nicely here. And again, right in the heart of the bat. Beautiful All shot. The way. On a pitch like this, I feel for the bowlers, there really is no margin for error. Well, he's playing to the crowd now. Head. Well, that could have easily been out. Just got to be careful here. A nice shot. It's not going to quite go to the boundary, but That's should get three. Two. No. Matten played safe there. Eh? Absolutely perfect timing on the defensive stroke. We'll probably play up to ten overs in this episode. Um, I am conscious that we're already, what, four episodes in and still on the first test match, so. This really is impressive but, uh, scoring now. Another over gone. The Seema to start a new over then. Brantley coming in. That's when I came back for a second. Back for a third here. Good running. 60 up. He's hit that very hard. Well, that's gone for four. That's just the kind very of streaky the there. Captain will tear his hair out. Very unlucky. have to be careful on those sorts of shots. He's going for the York as he's testing us. We're coming out on top. What would be your greatest all-time team, Tony? Well, that's a very difficult one. My uh, greatest all-time team, there are two players uh, that I haven't seen play, and uh, Len Hutton is an opening batsman. So um, Len Hutton and Barry Richards from South Africa, they'd be my openers. And then the other one who uh, obviously just stands as a colossus above everyone else is Bradman. He'd be my number three. Graham Pollock would be number four followed by Vivian Richards, and then Gary Sobers. He'd uh, also form part of uh, my bowling lineup because he's such a wonderful bowler. Number seven would be Alan Knott. He's uh, my wee keeper. Number eight, I'd uh, go for Shane Warne as the first of two spinners. So Shane Warne and Muthaya Murali Diren would be my two spinners. And my two fast bowlers, Andy Roberts and Dennis Lee. Well, that's Peterson gone. Oh no, it's not Ian Bell. He's gone for 32. Well, uh, a little bit of a loose shot there. 65 for three now. Lovely shot. That's a nice start for Paul Collingwood, though. Well, if you want to show the kids the perfect way to play that shot, there's a fine example. Nice shot through the onside. Batsmen are looking for two. Gonna come back for three, of course. Good running. Oh, slower ball.
Could have probably got one there, but never mind. End of the over, 72 for three. It's going to be a tough run, Chasers. No ball bowl. Well, I love it. Love that shot. Four fabulous runs there for Peterson. Back for two. Coming back for a second. Make that three. No. Peterson too slow. I think it was Collingwood that was too slow, actually. Well, that's a cracking shot. Uh, oh, what a shot. Well, I reckon that's demoralizing Another for the four for Peterson. Needs to bounce back quickly. Just had to change my mind mid shot there. Really quick scoring here. Beautiful time. Well, we've gone for it over the top, and that's four. That was a cracking pull shot. Oh, that's good. Brilliant bat. shot there. Yeah, but it was pretty safe and got him four runs. Watch this. Over the infield, one bounce, four runs. Well, that's 16 off the over. <clears throat> but there we go, 88 for three. Final over of the episode. Well, that's wonderfully timed. Another shot for Paul Collingwood. Too much. No ball. No ball. Over the infield. That's for. The ball just runs out into the covers. Batsmen are looking for two. Good run. That brings the hundred up, hundred for three now. Very good timing. Another great shot from KP. That is a textbook shot. On a pitch like this, I feel for the bowlers, there really is no margin for error. What a beautiful stroke. <laughs> well... He watched that onto the bat perfectly. 42 he moves on to now. Well, end of the over and end of the episode. We've reached 103, sorry, 108 for three, still requiring another 343 runs to win this first match. But we'll have to see if we can do that in the next episode. If you've enjoyed that, then make sure you leave a like down below. Really does help me out, means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular cricket content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.